When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Absolutely, unequivocally, yes, is the answer. Now, here is the host of The Long Bearded Guy, the Chief Catalyst, Strategist Guide at Jewel International, Gordon D. Melville. Good afternoon, my friends. Uh, welcome to The Long Bearded Guy, Gordon D. Melville, that's me on Inspired Choices Network. Today, we're going to talk about the last unexplored richest continent on Earth. The last unexplored, not fully explored. It is explored in some ways, but but mostly not. Richest continent on, on, on the planet. We're going to talk about that today. So welcome. Uh, I appreciate that you're here. I know there's people listening from all over the place. And, and uh, I have a friend. Lashes on the road. She's driving, delivering cars today, but I know she's listening. She said, Gord, I'll be on. So I give you a, a big shout out, Lasha. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for listening. And thank you to everybody else that's here. I'm deeply appreciative of, of all of you being here and for all everybody reaching out and, and comments and questions and likes and loves and shares. Um, I, I want you to do that. If, if you're not on, uh, if you don't, haven't downloaded the free Inspired Choices Network app, uh, in any of your stores, uh, Google, Apple, wherever, uh, download it and, and get on. And once you're on, get in the chat room um, and then they'll give you a link to get into my live studio audience if you want to do that. But but get in. Tell me where you're coming from. Tell me where you're listening from. Thank you so much for spending some of your finite resource called time with me today. I appreciate that. I'm excited to have you find us. We're on Apple TV. We're on Google TV. Just pump it into your to your smart TV, uh, Inspired Choices Network, and, and you'll find us. So we we'll look forward to hearing from you and seeing you on. All right. So one quick thing. Uh, how many of you have a net worth of more than 10 million? Wish I could see everybody's hands. Uh, I'm sure there's lots of you out there that have that have net worth over 10 million. Right. Most people tell me, no, they don't. And and I look at them and go, OK, so tell you what. I want to solve that for you. And they look at me and go, what? And I'm like, I, I want to solve that for you. I I'm going to write you a check for 10 million. Does that, would that help? And they're all like, yeah, yeah, that'll help. That'll help. Great, great. So all I need in return is your eyes. And there's quiet. <laughs> Most people instantly go, no way. No, no deal. And I'm like, well, wait a second, wait a second. Um, you just told me that that you needed 10 million. You want a net worth of 10 million. I'm telling you, I'll write the check for 10 million. I just need your eyes. Why do you, why would you not give me your eyes? And they're like, well, what would be the point of having 10 million if I can't see and, and experience and, and I need my eyes? Hmm, interesting. What you're telling me is that you value your eyes above 10 million. Let me ask the question again. Do you have a net worth over 10 million? See, the thing is, the, the, what is the last unexplored richest continent on earth? What is that? I would ask people to put it in the, in the chat. If you, if you think you know, put it in the chat. The, the last unexplored richest continent on earth? That's exactly right ourselves, me, my mind, our mind is the last fully, we, we're using less than 10% of it. Less than 10% of our mind we're using. We don't understand how it works. We don't understand how powerful it is. When we talk about it, and, and again, we, the, so the, it's, the, it's your mind. The, the last unexplored richest continent on earth is our mind. Why? Because anything is possible from there. We can generate anything from our mind if we allow it to if we set it up properly to do that anything is possible from our mind our mindset is so so powerful we're going to do a, a thirty thousand foot view um there this this topic is so broad it's so it's so expansive there's so many bits and pieces to this and and we're only going to touch on a little bit but I, but I, I, 
there's so much. So to use that illustration, your eyes, you're valuing at more than 10 million. That's before we talk about your mind. That's before we talk about your lungs and your kidneys and your liver and everything else. You, we all have value way more than 10 million. Why do we not view it that way? Why do we not think of it as value, intrinsic worth? Why do we not think of it that way? And, and I have a hypothesis. It was given to us for free. So we take it for granted. We don't put value on something that was given to us for free. We look at it and go, yeah, yeah, that's just my body. Yeah, yeah, that's just my, that's just my life story. No big deal. Yeah, yeah, that's just, we discount it. Why? Because it was, it, it's just our stuff. It's our story. It's our body and mind. It, 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 our mindset is such a strong, powerful thing. The impact of our mindset controls everything else we do. Let me say that again. Our mind and our mindset controls everything we do. Nothing happens without being a thought first. Right? I go to reach for my cup, for my mug. My hug, hug in a mug. I got from my good bud Don Don Callahan. But that's it. And but I had to. My mind had to go. Hey, arm, reach out. Hey, hand, grab that handle. Fingers, move. Now gra grab on. Hold on. Now arm, bring that back to my mouth. Do we think that way? No. No. We're unconsciously competent as an adult. Because there was a time we were unconsciously incompetent right as a child that's why there's a lid on a sippy cup why because it would have splashed all over the place they don't have the control they learn the control but it's all coming from their mind nothing happens in your body nothing happens that you do without it being generated from your mind and let that sink in that means nothing happens until it goes through our mind that we should be valuing way more than we do, looking after way more than we do. What we think and believe equals a positive manifest. What we think and believe, both halves have to happen, right? Napoleon Hill said, what a man can or a person can conceive and believe they can achieve. They need both. You got to think it, and then you have to believe that can happen. If you don't believe that can happen or that it's working, people all the time go, oh, manifesting, yeah, that, that shit doesn't work. That stuff doesn't work. Really? It's all working, just the way it was designed to work. We're going to talk about that in another, in another segment today, so, so, so stay, stick around. Stay tuned. We're going to talk some more about that. The dominant thought in our mind is what's going to manifest. So what does that mean? That means the more you think about some of those things, we think in terms of lack or love. Everything comes in lack or love. We make decisions out of lack or love. Decisions made out of lack and out of fear are very rarely uh, uh, turn into a good thing. Usually that's not that's not a happy thing. So trying to make the decisions and making the choices from a place of love is a much, much, much more positive thing to do. You'll get a much better result. But the dominant thought, that means if I'm thinking lack, I don't have enough, I don't have enough, I don't have enough, this is not enough, that's not enough, this is not enough, I don't, I, I, I don't have what I want. If that's the way our brain is thinking, guess what we're going to have? Guess what's going to manifest in our life? If you said negative and fear and not what we want, you're right. You're absolutely correct. Why? 
because that's what you're focused on. Energy is going to flow what you're focused on. Where your focus is, your energy is going to go. So manifesting does work perfectly. It's working exactly the way it's supposed to work. The problem is it's manifesting what you don't want in your life because that's where you're focused. And people will push back on me and go, Gord, I, I don't know. That, 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 it, does it have that kind of power? Yes, it does have that kind of power. We don't believe that a lot of the time. We don't see that. We don't, we don't watch that happen around us because we're not being aware. Awareness is a huge, huge deal. Awareness of where our mind is. And we go back to the whole Napoleon Hill piece on understanding how our mind works and then mastering control of our mind and our emotion. It's not pinky in the brain, right? It's not world domination. I, looking after my own is a full-time job. Mastering my own control of my own mind and my own emotion is a full-time job. I don't have time to do that for anybody else. It's, it's something that focus has to happen. Awareness has to be there. Why does it not work? What's not working? Why is it not working in our life? What's, what's, not, not, what's not showing up the way we want it to? Do we have what we want to have the way we want to have it? Maybe yes, maybe no. You may have everything you want. You may be exactly where you want to be in your life. Congratulations. Does that mean you're content? There's a difference between grateful and content. You want to be grateful, but not content. And that's off topic a little bit, but that concept. I'm grateful for what I have and where I'm at, but I'm not content. Why? Because as soon as we get content, we stop pushing. Good becomes the enemy of great. So to bring that around, what we think about, we have to think and believe will be a positive manifestation. Well, it will be a manifestation. If we think and believe in a negative, we're going to get negative and it's going to manifest that way. And you can tell me, Gord, that that's woo-woo and <laughs> that's, that, that's not accurate. What we believe is what shows up what we believe it does that doesn't mean it's right just because i believe it doesn't mean it's right fact is fact is fact is fact nobody has the right to their own facts everybody's entitled to their own opinion but i can believe whatever i want that doesn't make it right and it will dictate what the direction of our life is it will dictate where we go, what we believe will dictate what goes on. And it's been, it, it colors the choices we make. It colors the decisions we make. And whether we like that or not and want to agree with that or accept that or not, we are exactly where we put ourselves because of the choices and decisions we've made from our mind through our life. 100% ownership, extreme ownership. I am where I am. I've been sick for seven years. I've had health struggles for a long time, but I, I put myself there. I, I, I didn't listen to my body. I didn't do any self-care for more than 30 years. And my body went, hey, I'm out. I don't want to do it anymore. That's not my body letting me down. That, that's I'm reaping what I sowed. And I take 100% full responsibility for that. Extreme ownership of that. Does it mean I don't do? No, no, I do extreme self-care now, I can tell you. I preach it all over the place, extreme self-care. Why? Because it, we need to do that. But it all starts here. It all starts in our mind. If we don't believe that it's going to be helpful, guess what? Not helpful. We have to believe it. Think it and believe it in a positive way to give us a positive manifestation. We need to pay some bills. So I got two quick shout outs. Uh, let's see. So the first one is Jose, my brother, Jose Escobar, uh, founder and CEO of Entrepreneur's Bookshelf. And he has a pop-up tonight in Rockville, Maryland. So if you're local to there, um, it's at the Learn Center in Rockville. 
amazing. I was there last uh, last uh, month as the as the keynote. It's amazing. It will be an amazing event. But check out the Entrepreneur's Bookshelf to learn more about the morning and evening routine mastery program that is changing people's lives. It's incredible. If you're not have a morning and evening routine, you're not you're not going. There's no way for you to be as productive as you need to be if you're not have a morning and evening routine. This program will help you install systems on the bookends of your day to maximize your morning and evening routine. Set up your free strategy session with Jose Escobar today, and you can reach him at www.theentrepreneursbookshelf.com. Jose, good luck tonight, brother. Uh, I'll be there in spirit. My other uh, uh, shout out today this, the, the, this, uh, for, the, for this commercial is to Kat Schwarz. Uh, my sponsor, Kat, she's a founding uh, sponsor partner. Uh, Kat Schwartz is the founder and CEO of a groundbreaking company called Compassionate Healing Services and offers a completely unique approach to treating physical and mental health challenges. Check her out on Instagram at Compassionate Healing Services or email her at info at CompassionateHealingServices.com. Incredible human being. Uh, Jose and, and Kat, I love my my founding sponsors. Uh, I'm looking for more sponsors again, uh, another round of sponsorship. So if this if message res- resonates with you and, and you like what you're hearing and you want to help us uh, get to the mission, 10 million men in 24 months, reach out to me, uh, longbeardedguy at gmail.com. And, and I, can, I can shoot you off the information about sponsorship. So as we go to break here, don't forget to pause and breathe. Pause and breathe. Ground yourself. Think about what we're talking about. We'll see you on the other side. You're with the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville on Inspired Choices Network. See you in a minute. How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long-bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville. The Chief Catalyst Strategist Guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life, no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to the Long Bearded Guy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey, everybody. Thank you for sticking with. Thank you. I hope you're paused and breathed. I hope you were doing some, some breathing exercise while we were on break there uh, to, to ground ourselves and to, to put ourselves back in our, in our state, right? If you're trying to, to get um, focused again, doing a pause and breathe is a really, really, really good exercise. It also helps us remember who we are. It helps us ground. It helps us put ourselves in a space that we need to be open-minded, open-hearted, to get us to the next piece. Our next piece we want to talk about in terms of this, in terms of mindset, the last unexplored richest continent on earth is our imagination and dreaming. And when we're kids in school, you know, we're, we're looking off into the, we're dreaming, right? We're daydreaming. And the teachers and our parents are like, Hey, come back, come back, come back. Hey, focus, focus, focus. And there's a time for that. We need to do that. We need to focus, but there's a time to be dreaming in imagination 
but my, when my when my youngest son that's a few years ago now he would be mortified to, to know telling the story um i i tell it on occasion but uh we were getting an oil change and i had my three sons with me and uh, one of the the technicians at the the lube shop was chatting them up and he had asked them hey what do you want to be when you grow up and my other two sons gave what they wanted to be and did what they wanted told them they were talking back and forth and when he got to my youngest son, my youngest son says, oh, well, let's see. I, I, I want to be an, an astronaut. I think I want to be an astronaut. He was probably six or seven at the time. And he's like, oh, I, I think I want to be an astronaut. And there was a pause and I was having this proud dad moment, right? Oh, that's awesome. You know, the, the thinking big and, 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 you know, going for the gusto and, you know, that's awesome. And the, and the young man goes, that's great. You know, congratulations. That, that's, a, that's a really good thing to want to try and be. And, and my son said, yeah, yeah, an astronaut or a dinosaur, one of the two. And we stood there and laughed. But you know what? At six or seven years old, that's still a possibility. What, ha what happened now? Can he be a dinosaur? No. Uh, once I get to my age, I, I've been called a dinosaur. <laughs> that, that's a completely different issue. But 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 with 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 our dreaming and our imagination, we as adults, lots of times we get a, our, our imagination and our dreams get beat down by life. We get beat down and beat down and beat down and beat down. Eventually we go, you know what? Uh, I can't do anything about it. It is what it is. Right. We get in that space where our dreams and our we, we don't imagine anymore. We don't dream anymore, partly because we don't want to be disappointed but partly because we don't see that as real anymore, right? We may have fantasies and things that we, you know, we, they do it with games, right? I, 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 I have friends that watch, um, you know, reality TV. I'm not sure whose reality that is. I've never been stranded on an island with a bunch of scantily clad, beautiful women. Uh, that's never happened. So I'm not sure whose who's, who's reality that is. But anyway, the point is that's fantasy, right? It's fantasy. It's, 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 but we need to be able to do that. We need to be able to dream. We need to be able to get back to a space where not anything is possible, but anything is possible. Can I, can I be a, a linebacker in the NFL? No. No. But can I have the life that I'm supposed to have? Yes. Can I live my purpose? Yes, we can, but we have to have that in here first. Our imagination has to have envisioned that. Napoleon said, if what a person can conceive, what's another word for conceive? Generate, start. Where does that come from? Our imagination. It's downloaded in our imagination. Where did, where did Thomas Edison get light bulb from? That's download into our mind. That's downloaded. That's, a, that's coming from dream. That's coming from, from having dreams. That's coming from expanding and wanting to expand with a burning desire to understand. Do we know how our mind works? Most of us do not understand how our mind works. Mastering and then mastering control of it is, a, is another step. And will we ever fully? Probably not. But, but the challenge is I'm not ever going to let good become the enemy of great. I'm going to keep pushing. Why? Because I can dream. I have a friend in terms of manifestation. She, she lives in a beautiful home now, but she said, Gord, I manifested that. And I'm like, what does that mean? And she said, before I ever had that home, I dreamt about that home. I envisioned that home. When I was, when I was meditating, I would envision that house. What does it look like? What does it smell like? What is it built out of? What do the rooms look like? What color are the walls? What, do, what, what does the shade of the, of the couch and the furniture, what does it look like? And I'm like, really? She's a gourd. I've had parties. I, I've thrown parties in, my, in that house while it was still in my mind. And now she lives in that house. Now that dream is reality. Why? Because she manifested that. 
She knew what it smelled like to cook steak on the back deck of that house. She knew what it tasted like to have some red wine with that steak in the kitchen and laugh and joke with her friends. Is that possible? Because if we don't believe that's possible, if we don't believe we can manifest that, then then it's not going to happen. Those dreams have to become a burning desire, burning in our belly. Yes, I'm going to. This is going to happen this way. And just for the record, for my for my spiritual friends, does that mean we're leaving Papa out of the equation? No. But Papa wants us to live abundantly. Papa wants us to have abundance, not just in the dollars and cents in the nice house. He wants us to live abundantly, friends and and relatives and spiritual and with our kids and with our relationships and in all areas of our life. He wants us to, but but he, and he's given us the tools to do it. We just don't access them. We have an unexplored, richest place on earth that we don't pay attention to, that we don't listen to, that we don't exercise, that we don't believe. It, 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 it's a huge, huge deal. We need to be able to dream, taking old ideas and turning them into new ideas. Taking things that are already here and dreaming them into new things. When when um, S- Steve Jobs, whoever came up with the with the cell phone, right? Whoever mine is, right? Was this a new invention? No, we already had a phone. It was on the wall in the hallway with a 300 foot cord. The weird thing was, I would answer it. We would answer it without knowing who was on the other end, and we lived. <laughs> bizarre but that that phone wasn't an an iphone a a a smartphone that wasn't new that was a reimagined already here old idea that was dreamt and imagined reimagined into a new use that's a blue ocean environment if you're familiar with blue ocean the concept just real quick is that if there's red for me to have more, for people to have more business, you're taking a bite out of somebody else. That means there's blood in the water. Blue ocean is the ability to find your own niche. When, when Steve jobs or whoever it was, Apple came out with the, with the phone rim, when they came up with the, with the Blackberry, there was nothing like that. They could set the price, whatever they want. They could make the rules, however they want. Why? Because it was nothing to compare it to. That's blue ocean. That takes imagination. Cirque du Soleil is the, is the best illustration of, of blue ocean that I know. The, the gentleman that started that, he liked live theater and he liked circus, but circus was dying and live theater was expensive. So he reimagined it and dreamt it and pulled it together and said, hey, you know what? Let's blend the two things together. Let's blend them so that we have live theater that's entertaining, but still is affordable for families to come to and still fun and interesting. Anybody been to Cirque du Soleil? Amazing. But that's blue ocean. That's imagined and dreamt about. That's somebody that's continuing to dream. We need to continue to dream. That provides hope. That gives us inspiration to continue to want to drive and push forward. We need to dream. We're going to talk in the next segment about accurate thought because sometimes we don't have such accurate thought. Sometimes we have nowhere near accurate thought. (laughs) And so we want to make sure we have accurate thoughts. So we're going to talk about that on the other side, but again, pay some bills. Um, I want to give shout out again to Jose Escobar, founder, my brother, founder and CEO of Entrepreneur's Bookshelf. Check out the Connected Leaders Academy membership to take your business to the next level. It's incredible. Uh, it's it, unbelievable. People from all over the world, 11, 12 different countries, more than 200 people, um, high, high level entrepreneurs, authors, and, and business people, and just incredible, incredible group. This is the perfect tribe to learn, grow, and connect like never before. If you're looking to expand your business, 
You need to be a part of that. The Connected Leaders Academy tribe brings together some of the highest level entrepreneurs from all over the world. Set up a virtual coffee with Jose Escobar today. And again, you can reach him at www.theentrepreneursbookshelf.com. And a quick shout out again to Kat Schwarz. If you email info at compassionatehealingservices.com and mention the long bearded guy, that that's where you heard it from, you'll receive 20% off one of her services. That's $100 savings on Kat's most unique offering, which is spiritual private investigation services. Kat will use her skills as an evidential medium to reconnect you with a loved one who crossed over and provide proof of their continued presence in your life. Email her at info at compassionatehealingservices.com. That's Kat Schwarz and Jose Escobar as the shout outs today. Uh, so I, I like again, I appreciate my sponsors. Can't do it without them. And I'm looking to for some more. So reach out if you if you can. If you're if you feel led to, by all means, uh, the longbearded guy at gmail.com is the easiest way to get a hold of me. We're going to take another quick break. Don't go anywhere. We got a really, really amazing piece uh, in the next piece. And then we've got a call to action at the end. That's lots of fun. So if you're with the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville on Inspired Choices Network. See you on the other side. How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville, the chief catalyst strategist guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life, no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows, along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is the Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to the long bearded guy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey, everybody. Thanks for coming back, sticking with me. I appreciate it. We want to talk. We've talked about the, the, uh, the last unexplored richest continent on earth is our mind. It, it's up here. It's the six inches between our ears. And it's something that we don't pay attention to a lot. It's something that we take for granted. So we don't put any value in it a lot of times. So that's, a, that's an awesome, awesome, awesome thing. It's an awesome place to be, but we've got to be careful. So the, I want to talk a little bit about accurate thought. What's accurate thought? So I tell my sons when they go to do their, their oh, dad, I'll Google it, I'll Google it. That's great. Google is a search engine, not a research engine. Let me say it again. Google is not, pardon me, Google is a search engine. It's not a research engine. What does that mean? It means anybody can put anything they want on there, whether it's true, not true, factual, not factual, moral, not moral. Anything can be put on the web. Everything can be put on the web. That means when Google searches, it's going to find stuff that may or may not be accurate. Our thought process needs to be accurate. It needs to grow. Fact versus information versus opinion. They're all different things. 
And again, people are entitled to their own facts. They're not, uh, pardon me, they're entitled to their own opinion. They're not entitled to their own facts. Fact is fact is fact. So we want to have accurate thought. If I could ask you, have you used your best thinking to get to where you are right now in your life? Yes or no? Throw in the chat. You've used your best thinking to get to where you are. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And, and we all do, right? We use the, we're not going to use crappy thinking. We're going to use our best thinking to get to, to, to help us move forward. So the question is, are you want to be, or are you where you want to be in your life? Again, for some people, they say, yes, I'm exactly where I want to be. And some people go, no, no, I'm not where I want to be yet. Well, why are you not there yet? You're using your best thinking to get to where you are. What am I trying to say? Sometimes it, and not sometimes, it always requires growth. Intentional, consistent, persistent growth. Putting ourselves out there, expanding our mind. My wife loves to do Sudoku. She loves to play these. Uh, some of them are electronic. Some of them are in a book. But, but the point is, that's helpful for her mind and her brain expand and stay sharp. Why? Because she's thinking about stuff all the time. There's always something that she's thinking about and thinking about. And, she, and it drives me crazy. I can't play some of those games. But she loves to play those games. Maybe, maybe now that I think about it, maybe I need to play them more. Maybe that'll help my, my own mind stay sharp. I use reading to do that to stay sharp and, and it, you know, expanding my vocabulary, expanding my, my horizons in terms of what I believe and how I believe it. And, and uh, that information, because information and knowledge on its own is not power. Applied knowledge is power. I have to use it. And I'm using it more now than I ever have in my whole life, but I can't use what I don't have. Those tool, tools in the toolbox don't work if they're not there. I have to have them preloaded. So I'm always, always loading into my toolbox. I'm always, always, always expanding, intentionally expanding, accurate thought. When we're, you're listening, we're listening to, to people talk. Politics is, I'm not going to get into politics in terms of this side, that side, the other side. I'm, well, the one piece that I'm going to, I want to talk about or mention is that they call it fact checking. As people are talking, they fact check. Why? Because sometimes the facts are not there. What that person may believe and their opinion may not be based in fact. You with me? Just because they expound it doesn't mean it's right. Just because they believe it, just because we believe it doesn't make it right. The truth is the truth is the truth. Talk to my buddy Jared, my brother Jared Miller. He wrote a book called Truth, uh, really good book, just came out, get a copy. Uh, I'm waiting for my copy, it'll be here any day. But truth is truth is truth. It doesn't, it's not an opinion. It's, it, it is what it is. It, it, we can't do anything about that, but we need to be accurate with the way we, our thought process works. They say, if you can sell yourself on whatever it is, that's the ultimate sale being able to sell yourself. But if you're selling yourself something that's not accurate and you believe something that's not accurate, you are going to make decisions out of that. You are going to make choices based on that. And instead of going into the space you're supposed to be going to or probably should be, you're over here. Why? Because you believed something that was inaccurate for whatever reason. There are lots of reasons we believe stuff that's not real or not right. Um, Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny. Children believe that. Why? They don't have the rational thought yet to be able to go, wait, 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 hold the phone, hold the phone. Right? To challenge that a little bit. They don't have that yet. The pursuit of purpose is anchored in facts. It has to be. The pursuit of our purpose has to be anchored in fact. Why? Because if it's not, we're, we're in a fantasy world. We're not going to get where we want to go. We're not going to get where we were supposed to go 
if we don't have the facts? How do you make a good decision, a well-rounded decision without the facts, without the true facts? There's bits and pieces of this that, and, and some of that stuff where we believe came from different places. The bits and pieces came from different places. Some of that's our parents. Some of that's our teachers and people at school. Some of that's um, our, our, a boss or a, or a significant other or somebody in church or there's so many different places that those beliefs can come from. But they set up paradigms inside of us that may or may not be what they need to be. If you haven't seen or listened to, to uh, that's episode two, three, and four, Foundations. Listen to those. I challenge you. Go back and listen to those episodes. Why? Because the foundation, it comes from our thought. Originally, it came from our parents and our teachers and our pastors. It came from the adults in our life. They set up those foundations. They set up those paradigms in our life. The way we think came from them. Those foundational thought processes came from those people. And then as our life continued, we get into our 20s and 30s and things start to happen. Our, our foundation gets rocked. It gets cracked. It gets eroded. How? Life. And all of a sudden, we're believing stuff that maybe isn't there. Or something major happens and it rocks our foundation. And what do we do? We stop and go, well, I, can't, I need to go and find myself. I, need to, I, I don't know who I am. I, I, I'm lost somehow. We need to get anchored again into our foundation, anchored again into what we believe and why we believe it. That requires fact, not fantasy, not fiction, not somebody's opinion. What are the facts? Give me the facts and then let me figure it out. Don't tell me what to think. Give me the facts and let me figure it out. We do that with our kids in terms of uh, uh, parenting, right? When, when our parents, when my parents were, were raising us, they were trying to help us become who they thought we should be. And what we're doing as parents, my wife and I, is trying to give our kids the tools they need to become who they want to be. Completely different way to parent. But it all starts with that foundation. Where does that foundation come from? It comes from here. And if you're an adult, you control that. That's your choice. That's not, oh, my parents screwed me up. Oh, my ex screwed me up. Oh, you know, uh, 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 a boss screwed me No, you're an adult. Extreme ownership. Take it up, pick it up, and go with it. If you don't like it, Jim Rohn said, if you, if you don't like where you are, you're not a tree. Move. If you don't like it, change it. If it's not based in fact, and maybe it was at the time and it's not anymore. You want to change it? Change it. That's on you. You want to think something different? Think something different. But make sure it's based in fact. Make sure it's not somebody's opinion. Make sure it's not just information. It's based out of reality. It's based out of fact. I, I hope this is resonating. I hope this is, is connecting. I hope this is helpful because that the, the goal is to, is to make it as helpful as it can. And I want to, I want to challenge. I want you to, to think, and, and if you have a, uh, um, a visceral reaction to it, I want reach out. Uh, longbeardedguy at gmail.com. Send me an email. Gord, you're full of poop. I challenge you on this thing. I like this and this and this, but you know what? This is this is just isn't right. Or I just don't like this. Can you explain this some more? Or Gord, I'm gonna challenge I'm I'm all over it. Bring it. Bring it. I'm not here to be right. I'm here to challenge you. I'm not telling you what to think. I'm sharing some pieces from my heart. And leaving it out there for, for you to pick up and go, hey, you know what? I believe this or I like this or I don't like that. Nobody takes 100% of what anybody does or thinks. 
but we need to be able to, it, it's the richest continent we have is between our ears. It's, it's immeasurable, the benefits that could come from our mind. We need to take another quick break. I just want to talk really quick or, or share just really quick programs I have. I've got a box, something called Box Inside Out. Is a, is a, it's not outside the box thinking. It's eradicate the box, burn the box. There is no box. It's a tools and strategies to be able to deal with the regular emotions we feel every day. Uh, that you know, stress and anxiety and depression, all the things that we all feel. I've got a program for that. I've got group coaching aside from. I've got one-on-one -on -one coaching available. I've got keynote speaking available. You want me to come and talk to your group or to your church or to, to your men's group? Again, my mission is to have meaningful connection with more than 10 million men globally in the next 24 months with a message of hope that says there are positive ways to deal with this stress and anxiety and emotions that we were taught as guys, we were taught, don't show, don't show emotion, don't look weak, don't cry. And so we hold that dis-ease in our bodies and we don't know what to do with it. It makes us sick. And so, or we put it in a box and we put it on a shelf and we don't deal with it. The problem is we still have the pain of that. So then we, what do we do with it? Well, we, we, we gamble, we do drugs. We dr now I have a vice on top of the problem because it didn't take the problem away. So my, my mission is to give guys and people in general the tools and strategies they need to be able to deal with those things so that they just go away. So they're not holding it inside themselves to be healthier, to have emotional intelligence. And so that's, that's, that's where I'm at. If, if that resonates with you, reach out to me, the long bearded guy at gmail.com. Uh, for any of the programs you want to investigate about me coming to talk to your people, by all means, again, the long bearded guy at gmail.com. We can discuss how that works and I can customize a program specifically for your group. And, and we can talk about that. So as we go to break, um, don't forget to pause and breathe. Don't forget to, to, to center yourself. Relax. Ground as we go to a break. You're with the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville on Inspired Choices Network. See you on the other side. How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long-bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville. The Chief Catalyst Strategist Guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. This is The Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. You can also send an email to the long bearded guy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey everybody. Thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying today's episode. Uh, I'm, it's such much fun to, to spend some time with you and to share. The last segment we want to talk about just real quick is the size of our vision will equal the amount of the nutrition uh, nutrients supplied. If we have small vision, we're going to get small amount of nutrients. Why? Because that's all we need to get a small vision accomplished. If we've got big vision, we're going to get big nutrients. We're going to get the bits and pieces we need. So the size of our vision, we want to have that, that mindset. Again, this is a 30,000 foot view. There's so many pieces about mindset we could talk about. I, I, could, do, I could do all the rest of the shows that, that I have available uh, for the for the rest of the year and and then some on mindset. There's so so much to talk about, but vision is coming from from our mind. It's coming from where our vision for our life is. If our vision isn't big enough, if we can't imagine and dream big, we're not going to get the nutrients we need to get there. Right, small vision. Small amount of, of nutrients, small amount of things we need to get there. Big vision will give us big nutrients. I challenge you to have a bigger vision and to dream. The, the thing about 
thoughts becoming the power and the fuel behind our desires. Thoughts become the power and the fuel behind our desires that push them forward. Thought is the power and the fuel. What we think about, we become. What we think about, we manifest in our life. We don't want to compromise. No compromise. Why? And, and follow this through for me, if, if you can. Compromise is two plus two equals three. What does that mean? It means both sides lose out. Neither one gets what they want. We're compromising to be able to get along. I would suggest you want to cooperate. Cooperating is two plus two equals five. I'm going to say that again. Compromise is two plus two equals three because we both don't get what we want. Cooperation is two plus two equals five. Why? Because we get more working together. It works best when we work together. Our call to action is to focus this week. Are you a positive or not so positive minded? And if so, why? Can you choose to be positive? Can you choose to have intentional growth of a positive mind? Think about it this week before we, we get in touch and talk next week. Think about it. Meditate with that. Let that run over in your mind. Are you a positive or a negative person? A negative minded person? Have you put it out there? Do you have big dreams to be able to get big nutrients? Or are you thinking small? Are you playing small? Papa wants us to play big. He plays big. He wants us to play big. He wants us to expand our mind. He wants us to grow with fact, not opinion. I'm challenging you. The call to action is to focus and spend some time trying to figure out for yourself what you believe. What are your paradigms? What do you think about your mind? Do you value the bits and pieces of your body? Do you understand you have infinite value, but certainly value over 10 million? And maybe you're somebody that looks at me and goes, Gord, I'd give you my eyes for $10 million. I'll guarantee you there's bits and pieces of your body that you will not give up. We have innate value. Pay attention to that innate value. Listen to that innate value. There's so many bits and pieces of this mindset thing. It's so powerful for us. It will get us where we want to go. It'll give us what we want it to give us if we use it correctly. If we put it out there. If we exercise it. If we give it the things that it needs. Oxygen. Blood supply. Energy. If we give it the things that it's supposed to have that it needs to survive that we need to survive, it'll expand for us and it'll work the way we want it to. Think about mindset this week. Think about where you're at. Do you harness your mind? Don't harness your mind. Do you use it well? Or is it just something that's there? It's so powerful. Our mindset is so powerful and nothing happens without it first coming to our mind. So join me next week. We're going to talk about shitting all over ourselves. Shitting all over ourselves. Make it another great week. Don't forget that I love you. Massive hugs. If you haven't heard that this week or today, I love you. Live abundantly. Live with intention. And we'll see you next week. Big hugs. Love you. Thank you for tuning into the Long Bearded Guy Show. You are appreciated and loved. Gordon D. Melville returns Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on the InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until then, make it another great week leading with love, 
powerfully designing, crafting, and living out your positively impactful legacy life you were created for. Big hugs!